Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again. It is a day with some big news. In fact, it's big green news. The Hulk Immortal is now in Latest Legends, the uh, store with Havoc and Mr. Sinister. That is a big change. People have been looking forward to this for a long time. Let me know if you're going to be doing any draws from the new Latest Legends with Hulk included. I think I'm going to wait a little bit. Maybe um, I'll wait until Sinister rotates out and we get a new five star in there. We'll see. But uh, also means that, uh, as you notice the, at the icon below, Beta Ray Bill is now in Classic Legends. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get covers on him from Classic since he's one of the absolutely 30 plus, uh, heading toward 40 total characters in that store so good luck if you need to work on him there so today we are going to do some tokens and we have to rush and get our new shield intel out our subscriber only info so if you're not a subscriber please consider doing that today and in this video you'll see instructions a little bit later on on how to get into our unreleased upcoming character info to the game. I think uh, the the, uh, the fan base has been going back and forth on who might be next. It's going to be a five star that we get this coming week and there are just some clues in the game that I think at this point make it somewhat official to know who we're going to get. Um, you'll see uh, there, we've, we've been on a screen with a clue. Let's also go on to um, maybe another area that has uh, a, a potential clue of a character that's coming out soon and uh, and we'll see who that could be so um make sure your subscriber will talk about the abilities for the new character and do that um right after this video so in this one though we've got some good stuff we're going to do we haven't taken on the crash of the titans yet against professor x with nightcrawler and we're going to champion a four star character and play that character in a battle or two. And we have a lot of tokens to get into. So um, a lot of you guys probably know who the four star is going to be that I champ today. But uh, if you don't know, hang on for that and we're gonna get into it. Let's do our tokens first. And um, that'll allow us to get the levels in that we need to get this uh, four star champion. Let's jump into Hearts of Darkness, the new story mode event that opens today. Maybe we'll get a lucky draw on the one shot. Just a two star. Let's roll over to Infinite Pursuit. So here is uh, 14 plus tokens we have to get the black cover for Maria Hill or a Ronin Hawkeye. That would be nice. Let's give it a go. I'll try to do the fast method. Luke Cage. And Angel. A couple three stars in a row. Ragnarok. You guys are bringing in the viewer luck, doing really well on the threes so far. Can we get a four star with all these tokens? Got another support token. That is uh, adding to the pile. We are going to do a video on that soon. There's just too much other stuff going on in the game right now to get that done. And Mystique and Iron Fist. Wow. Even if we don't get a four star here, we ran really well on the threes. Sounds good. So like I said, Nightcrawler is the uh, Crash of the Titans. We'll do that in a little bit, but be ready because North Star, starting in just over a day, is the next Crash of the Titans. And he doesn't do a lot of big time target damage at all. Um, so level him up if you're gonna be successful in that crash. A couple of tokens left over from the Thing versus event. That was uh, quite a bit of a challenge. And Hotshot tokens. Nothing much there, so let's go on. The Invisible Woman is the event that's going on now, and our support token's coming soon. Let's head to the Elite, 14 Elite tokens. We'll do the quick claim method. Start off with a Magneto, another Luke Cage. Too many three stars in a row with uh, Deadpool, Gamora. And a Doom. Not bad at all, guys. Let's see how we can do in the heroics. We've got about 22 total draws. Should be should be good for a four star. 
Maybe. If we get a four star, who do you think it'll be? And we got it. Come on. That was a little too easy. And go. And it's an Ant-Man yellow. Nice hit. He's getting up there in level, so that'll be a nice champion reward. Can we get another four star before we're out of heroics? Got a Doctor Strange. We'll do mighty tokens after this. Ragnarok again. And the Mighties are pretty good at one in seven odds of a four star, so I think we're going to get a couple here today overall. Got a lot of rewards from the previous. Oh, bonus shards. I think it was just the um, Magneto shards popping up. I'll take it. That was probably 50, and it could have been more. You can see by the count how that went up. I have to try to make sure I'm not blowing past that bonus display too quickly anymore. Done it three out of four times, I think. And the daily draw is just a two star. So we got one four star out of 20 plus heroics. How are we gonna run on 14 mighty tokens? That'll leave us with, um, should we do that many? Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll do 14 of these. Got a three star black widow. And the bonus shards. We got more uh, Magneto there, I believe. I'm going to take him off of my bonus hero at some point. Let's take a look here. I was going to... Yeah, I'll probably collect those three levels, work him up toward a fourth level, and then stop there. Squirrel Girl. Let's get a four star on the next draw. There's Deadpool and then, not yet. More Luke Cage though. There's our four star, all right. Let's count it down in three, two, one. Agent Coulson, very nice. Just played him in PVP last video or so. That was really fun. Got a Loki. Let's see, how far were we going down to? Um, eight remaining, I think. We started with 22, right? Okay. There's another four star. Good job, guys. And it is a four star Gamora. Nice hit. Is that going to be the cover that makes me roster her a second time? Another four. There we go with the viewer luck. Rolling hot. Craven. And our last mighty token is going to be a three-star Hulk, suitable for today. And yeah, we're gonna stop there for now. Holding on to the 54 latest legends, we may add to that stack a little bit today with our rewards. We've got a bunch to go through. Since I didn't add them in last time, we just did tokens last time. Kind of burn through the two stars here a little bit. cover for Moonstone. We'll see if that is in the list. I don't recall. She's got a bunch of saved covers and I'm at level two in black. That experience is really racking up. Over halfway through level 199 and yeah we didn't get the, blue, the black Moonstone so we'll wait on that. No problem, let's go to the three stars. What do we have here for threes? 60 total three star covers for the last few days. Wow, okay. Got a couple of needed colors for Ragnarok, but definitely need red and a little green. Hope can be champed later. Legendary token from Loki at 227. 
loot cage in a row here. Gets to the legendary at 239. Perfect. Domino shards. Bucky shards. Yep, we'll probably hit shield rank 200 within a week or so, I think. Depending on how many further tokens we pull, if we draw any any legendaries at all, I feel, still think I'm going to wait. Ordo shards there. And a 227 level on Doom for the legendary token. Again, they just keep piling up. That's what you want. That's why you champ everybody you can. Let's see where Magneto gets to here. Oh yeah, probably could have stopped 22 over. Maybe I'll stop there. Let's go ahead. That's not too much of a waste. I have a second character as my favorite as well. Iron Fist. Duplicate taking a couple levels. Another legendary, 257 on Mystique. Awesome. Mr. Fantastic Shards, Four Star Panther Shards. Very nice. And two more levels on Black Panther will be a legendary. Lots of Four Star Shards coming through. We'll be careful to check that here in a little bit. Do the Crash of the Titans here after this and also champion a four star character. I think you might have guessed by now who it is. Another legendary 227 on Bullseye. This is taking a long time, guys. Sorry about that. There we go. Threes are done. I need to re roster Spidey, like I keep saying. Four stars, 16 of them. Craven with the seven command points to hit level 342. There's that Gamora cover, which she'll have to be re rostered soon. Colson, 10 CP. Ant Man with the Wasp shards. Invisible Woman, nice to get a couple more levels on her during her event. Haven't started it yet. Doom shards coming up next. And a, a bit of progress here on Thing. Command points and 100 hero points and more CP. Very nice. His health just jumped up to over 28,100. Cool. Oh, that's right. I just clicked that before thinking about it. We added in a cover on Maria Hill. Let's wait on that a second. Let's go down to Kate Bishop with the 155 star Hawkeye shards. And uh, oh, I did have a kingpin here. That's interesting because we just added 150 shards onto five star Daredevil. And that reminds me of something big. So let's go continue over here to Jubilee. And besides the train covers we can do in Maria Hill, let's stop for one second. I want to go to here, level up our shard characters. I don't think there's much we can do in those first three. Thor goes up. Doc Ock, he's my target hero now, taking three-star Magneto off and Super Scroll has enough shards for a color and I'm wondering do I really want to add to green to balance him out or should I add to purple which I think is a really cool ability uh, or do I just save these shards until later I think the smartest thing to do is actually to wait I'm not going to use him a whole lot let's see what color of covers we get next and you can use shards a little more efficiently after that it's just hard to have shards and not add them in it's just something that's uh, kind of a challenge. Take a level on Karnak there. And Thor was a big one. So I actually purchased 
like you can do here. I purchased shards for him from the store when he was in there. It was kind of expensive, but it was really nice to get to another level. And five star Thor moves up to 472. And uh, what's nice about that is uh, his boosted health is now 64,600. So at 50%, he can run at 32,300 health. That is going to be nice. He does have a little bit of support on him. And now let's go to the store. And you know, here's it, here it is. I want to work on Daredevil a, a little bit. He's got 350 shards, um, which is great because I think I'll buy 150, 160 shards from the store. It's a little more expensive than I normally do, but I just want to get levels on him. He's not that readily available, right? So let's do this. This is expensive. One, two, three, Eight total purchases gets him up to the next level, and now I can increase him once more. That's gonna be great, because um, that will take his purple match damage. Let's, see, oh, oh, let's point this out, 688, let's level him up. I mean yellow, not purple. I do wanna increase his purple match down, damage, but his yellow match damage now is 693. Um, Besides increasing his health in general, having stronger strike tiles when he heals and stuff like that, his yellow at 693 means that now Daredevil is able to tank yellow above Doom, and that might come in handy when they are teamed together and some other stuff. Just increasing levels is just great on 5 stars, so um, very expensive for hero points, but I like it. Now let's go to, where did we leave off here? Oh yeah, okay, so we did everybody except for for our character that we're going to champion today and it is maria hill this is um let's see we need to decide she doesn't have a purple cover does have black we'll add that in and blue so we have two areas to add shards in it doesn't matter once they're champed you can switch power levels around the way you want but i think she's probably going to be best at a three five five so we'll go ahead and purchase that black ability and we're going to do it. Let's level her up and champ this four star character. <clears throat> Excuse me, 271,000 ISO to become a champion and uh, the promotion fee. We'll use that shard level to earn the legendary for the go ahead to 271 and there we go. I think that's where we're going to spec her out. There's nothing wrong with increasing purple, and per, and by any um, by any means you might want to reduce her best of intentions ability, her black ability. It creates a countdown that for it, it's a four turn countdown that when it expires it can deplete 90% of her starting health. If through the match you've taken over 10% of her health in damage, that means she will be downed by the countdown going off. Uh, but in in exchange for that. She creates five strength, 264 strike tiles at cover level five. That's pretty big for a four star. I mean, those are very strong strikes. And you've got four turns to remove that countdown or destroy it. Or what I think a lot of people are forgetting about is if you, if you play Get Out Alive, it only costs seven. It does team damage. It's 2348 damage to the enemy team. But keep in mind, you'll probably have her strike tiles out when you do this for a bigger hit. And uh, this turns her invisible for four turns. So even if you can't get that countdown matched away, you can play Get Out Alive if she's invisible. The CD does not hurt her for the for the damage. I think that plays pretty well. And Life Model Ambush is a, a cool ability. Um, again, another character that places traps that deal damage. What I um, what I like is it's e either team can match those traps, and you you know they will always be on purple. So you can play it at the right time, knowing that there's a purple match on the board. Hopefully you get to take it right away. I'd like to step this up, 1933 damage per trap to 2078, not a big deal, but 3373, that starts to get to be a pretty good difference from level three. So I may consider moving that up. We'll play her like this first, and that's gonna be it, right? I don't think we have any other leveling up to do. Let's go. So 
Um, we'll do the Crash of the Titans here first, and then we'll get Maria into um, into a match on her own, or basically try to get through those wave notes. Let's do this. All right, so let's play with. Now let's. We've been talking about Maria. Let's just get. It, let's just get her in here and do this. She can play with Angel, and a four-star character to win with. Who would be good to play? Let's just grab Fury. She seems to. He seems to be the best to play with Maria, as far as uh, just making sense in the game, right? There we go. Angel won't be too big of a focus here. Might as well boost our AP, make this battle go as quick as possible. So, there we go. If you haven't seen her animations yet, or remember them from before, she's pretty fun. Um, didn't have a shield training for, for the last couple of 4-star releases, so we didn't have a lot of opportunities to play with characters in kind of a... Uh, uh, you know, as them given to you to play around with in the shield training team up node. So Fury's got a really nice yellow. I think it'll be overkill in this specific match. Let's try to get Maria's colors going with blue, black, and purple if we can. Of course, the enemy's going to be taking all the colors I want. couple blue matches. We have her black ready to play. I don't think you should really rush to play her black ability until you have enough blue just to be on the safe side. Take a quick look. It says 90%, but does it give us an actual damage number on her black ability? It just says 90%, but as you know, um, that's probably around 11,000 damage from her black, we'll see if the countdown states it. Okay, so we have our blue. And looks like we can qualify her purple, that's awesome. All right, so let's go for the best of intentions. Really good amount of strike tiles. We're already at 1,320 in strikes. We'll play her purple for those traps. Either team could match them. I don't see a way to set up a trap immediately. So let's just do one move and then we'll play her last ability. Well, it did set us up with the purple match. That's cool. We could get both of them here. Let's move over to this guy. The Sentry, that is the fighter with the green highlights. He's pretty much the most annoying, I think. Let's give him a nice couple of traps. And if we couldn't get Maria's countdown matched away, here it is, 11,000 to 32 damage at this level. <laughs> All we have to do is play Get Out Alive, Go invisible for a couple of turns, but that wins the match regardless. Okay. Sounds good. Let's see if we can get through the six character wave battle. And who should we grab with her and Fury? Maybe. Oh, let's just grab Mockingbird. She's a shield agent as well. See how fast we can win this one with the strike tiles and team damage. Okay, so let's line up a purple. So after this, guys, we'll talk about the instructions on how to get into the next sh Shield Intel, the insider info that we put together for upcoming character releases. Let's see if we can... I guess it doesn't 
make sense to play our traps yet. There's, there's no purple matches available on the board. You should probably play that when there are trap matches available to be made. Otherwise, you could just lose your traps. Did you guys pick up on the... After the game updated, did you pick up on the clues of the character that could be next? Not getting any in black. It's an inexpensive ability, too. That's funny. Okay. Purple and green. Just very little purple left on the board. We're not getting a lot of what we need here. Let's go ahead and just play Fury's yellow ability. I'm a real big fan of that. Can often be a huge knockout blow. Check this out. Very cool. Another extra move. Let's go with that. Just destroying this team on the board alone without uh, anything from Maria so far. So we can set up a double trap match. This could be fun. All right. Look at this. Triple trap. Line up with that purple. Not bad. Fun way to finish that one. Get the win, and now we can go into the Crash of the Titans and finish up for the day. And like I said, guys, the end of the video is usually where we talk about how do we get into the Shield Intel. If you are a subscriber to the channel, I greatly appreciate it if you're considering becoming one. Um, please do so today. You can get into our upcoming info where we cover new character abilities and bio info that will be coming out of the game really soon. I'm quite confident now that we have a shuffle in the release order and that's why I'm putting this out there. We have to cover this new character and um, you should see a link up above on the top right corner that takes you if you are a subscriber into a non-public video where we talk about um, this upcoming yet unreleased character hit it at the end of this and you can go right into it and check out the overview that we'll put together looks very interesting so uh please be consider subscribing if you haven't already we have about um 51 subscribers and 49 percent non-subscribers watch our total watch time so knowing that split i think we can really get that number up all right let's do this i think this is going to be a nice easy match what do you want to do against Professor X with Nightcrawler? Well, the, the number one thing, you have to know this, you need to make sure and keep him away from purple. The purple ability for him to go invisible could be very difficult to then get at that invisibility tile. And um, But the one good thing is Professor X doesn't have any allies on his team so he won't be able to boost any special tiles unless somehow I gave them to him. Nightcrawler doesn't have a way to do that. So I don't want to give him a match four in blue, but I want to drop that match four in purple. Make sure we get that and another one looking good so far. Nightcrawler's purple ability is pretty much, in my opinion, one of the most fun four star abilities in the game. It just creates so many tiles of a specific color on the board and you can really lead to some great cascades and extra moves and stuff like that. Right now the most prevalent most present color on the board most prevalent is green. That isn't too great. Let's go ahead and see if we get some green matched away. And you gotta be honest, Nightcrawler's red can really hit pretty hard if you qualify for the extra damage. So let's take a look at on guard. Nightcrawler swings dual sabers with a smile on his face, swashbuckling with uh, superhuman agility, deals 10,412 damage already um, at this level. And 
but if you have 10 or more AP in your strongest color, your team's strongest color, which happens to be purple in this case, of course, that means he deals 16,735 damage instead. That either way is a complete knockout. Um, we're gonna win this quickly just to wrap it up, but I do wanna point out everywhere at once, even though it costs 12, it's too, a little too expensive in my opinion, it should cost 10 maybe or maybe 11, but um, this is at cover level three. At cover level five, this thing can do a ton of damage if you play it at the right time, when the enemy has a certain amount of AP. And um, that's what also kind of makes it less efficient is you have to wait for them to have a lot of AP in a certain uh, pool to play his blue, but it can do a ton of damage based on AP that they have. Let's go ahead and finish it here, guys. We'll play um, on guard for fun. It's it's just gonna be on black, but we're gonna waste too much time otherwise. It's great when you can get purple to be the, the color that's most present on the board and just keep spamming that. Oh, we got a shot from the big head. That's, that's great. Would hate to win a match without that happening. <laughs> All right, let's end it here. I think we can do it. We'll play Banff once again. Should be blue, I think, right? Oh, purple. Oh, man. Very tempted to continue playing Banff until we win. He goes invisible. Let's see if we can get lucky. Okay, perfect. So he's got the invisibility tile down there. It is matchable. Let's see if we would have gotten lucky with another Banff. Not exactly the way I wanted, so I don't want to lose here. Let's go ahead and um, match that away. And then we can win with an on guard for the additional legendary token. And that's where we'll wrap it up. Got it. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Be looking for the shield intel number five. We'll be putting that video up right away for subscribers after this video. So check it out if you saw the link presented up above. Really appreciate you guys hanging on and, and building the subscriber base as we head, head toward 1,000. Can't wait to get that done. Have a good one. See you next time.